Welcome learners. We are today looking at lesson number three under direct attraction. That is aim number three, which says determining concentration of the analyte. Now we're going to look at two types of questions: a question found in paper one and a question found in paper three. Example one: twenty centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide completely neutralized. Twenty-five centimeters cubed of nine point eight grams per dm cubed. Of dilute sulfuric six acid. Determine one concentration of sodium hydroxide moles per liter. Two concentration of sodium hydroxide in grams per dm cubed. Now to solve this question, we'll have the students will be required to follow the following steps. Step one: find molarity of dilute sulfuric six acid, which is the standard solution, by mass per liter of a molar mass. Step two: Determine the number of moles of sulfuric six acid by taking molarity times volume over thousand. Step three: Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric six acid. Step four: Determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, which is the analyte, from the mole ratio. Step five: From one one. Determine concentration of sodium hydroxide in moles per dm cubed, which is given by number of moles in step four times one thousand of volume reacted to twenty. Concentration in grams per dm cubed will be equal to concentration in mole per dm cubed times molar mass. Solution: Molarity of sulfuric acid is equal to mass per liter of molar mass. Molar mass of sulfuric acid is two times one plus thirty two plus sixteen times four, which is ninety eight gram per mole. Hence, nine point eight gram per liter, or ninety eight gram per mole, is equal to zero point one mole per dm cubed. In molarity, is zero point one molar. Moles of sulfuric acid. We're going to use this time around first principal method. Which says 1,000 centimeters cubed contains 0.1 moles. 0.1 moles is obtained from molarity. What about 25 centimeters cubed? Cross multiply 25 times 0.1 over 1,000, which is 0.0025 moles. Next, you write the equation for the reaction. Sodium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. Arrow sodium sulfate plus water. Balance the equation. Place two where there is sodium hydroxide and two where there is water. Moles of sodium hydroxide will be one contains 0.025 moles. What about two? Cross multiply, you get 0.05 moles. Concentration of sodium hydroxide in moles per liter will be obtained by 20 centimeters cubed contains 0.0. 0, 0.05 moles, or about 1,000 centimeters cubed. Cross multiply, you get 0 0.25 moles per dm cubed. Concentration in grams per liter of sodium hydroxide will be concentration in mole per dm cubed times the molar mass. Molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 23 plus 16 plus 1 is equal to 40 grams per mole. Hence, concentration in gram per dm cubed will be 0 0.25 mole per dm cubed times 40 gram per mole, which gives us 10 gram per dm cubed. Now, in example 2, we're going to look at a sample paper 3 question. We are provided with solution A, 0 0.5 molar sodium carbonate solution. Solution B, dilute sulfuric 6 acids. We are required to standardize dilute sulfuric 6 acids which is the same as finding concentration of sulfuric six acid procedure. Fill the burette solution A to pipette 25 centimeters cubed of solution B into a clean dry conical flask. 3. Titrate solution A against solution B using phenoxyl indicator and record the total values in the table below. Repeat the procedure and complete the table below. Now, note that when you are recording the volume of the table, you must consider the following things. 
all your values must be to one decimal place that is either 20.0 20.1 two or three values in the table must be within a range of plus or minus 0.1 a determine the average volume of solution a solution average volume is equals to 20.0 Plus point twenty point one plus twenty point zero divided by three, which gives you twenty point zero three. The answer must always be given to four significant figures. B. Determine the number of moles of solution B. Now in this case here, solution B is the analyte, while solution A is the standard solution. So to solve this question number B, we'll have to go through three steps. Step 1, you'll have to find the number of moles of sodium carbonates. Then you write the balance equation. Then you now find the number of moles of sulfuric six acid. Now note that we have two types of volume. We have the pipette volume and we have the average tighter volume. Therefore, number of moles of sodium carbonates is obtained by 1000 plus cubes contains 0.5 moles. 0.5 moles is obtained from molarity which is 0.5 molar. What about 25 centimeters cubed? Cross multiply, you get 0 0.0125 moles. Equation for the reaction sodium components plus sulfuric acid, arrow sodium sulfates plus water. The equation is balanced, so more ratio is 1 to 1. From the more ratio of 1 to 1, the moles of sulfuric acid equals the number of moles of sodium carbonates, which is 0.0125 c determine concentration of sulfuric six acids in moles per dm cubed now the volume of sulfuric acid reacted is 20.03 so we'll say 20.03 centimeters cubed contains 0.0125 moles or about 1000 centimeters cubed cross multiply you get 0.624 mole per dm cubed learners that is, the, that is the end of the lesson the next lesson we look at the next aim which is determining the relative formula mass of the analyte